I'm here at um, Africa Garden DC in Washington and I met an amazing lady uh, who participated yesterday at our brainstorming sessions and uh, she came up with some ideas which was really I think fantastic because we um, we don't talk about African human capital that much but uh, again Salome how are you? I'm great thank you. Did you how enjoy Africa Garden today? Yes it was a fabulous day. Was it good? Did you, did you manage to share some ideas? that came out of today. Um, you know, I was extremely inspired by the discussion. What I appreciate and value most about Africa Gathering is its focus on harnessing the human and intellectual capital of the African diaspora. We're here, um, we've gained skills, we have education, we have experience that is relevant for the continent, mm -hmm. but often we're not connected and we're not talking to each other, and we're not documenting our learnings. Mm -hmm. And Africa Gathering provides a platform for us to do that collectively mm -hmm. and to amplify our voices. Absolutely, and um, I think, you know, us coming here and meeting people like you, which we haven't met before, mm -hmm. is a big thing for us, mm -hmm. because you guys, you know, have got a voice. So, um, you know, do you think we should have probably, you know, how come we didn't have a lot of gathering like this in the past? And, and um, what do you think we should do in the future to, to share our ideas? And what do you think about that? You know, I think the African diaspora community is maturing and mm -hmm. it's a sign of our growth. And perhaps if we look at the life cycle of an adult, mm -hmm. maybe we're in our adolescence or teenage years or young adulthood years. Mm -hmm. So this is the time for us to say, okay, we've built, we've been in the diaspora, we've built our experiences, we have our networks, now let's focus on harnessing our intellectual capital. And you mentioned now, something about investment yesterday, right? Absolutely. I think the African diaspora community, we know that we send up to $40 billion annually in remittances home. Mm -hmm. And this money is going to our families or our direct networks in the continent. And now, can we talk about how do we harness that resource and use it towards strategic investment in Africa? Is there a way for us to unleash a philanthropic and an investment capital of the African diaspora community. Where is home for you? Home is Ethiopia. Ethiopia, yeah, lovely country, lovely country. That's why you have lovely hair. <laughs> <laughs> so what is your message for somebody who's watching this right now, for example? What do you think we should do, just if you have a final word for it? Um, I would say you, the mm -hmm. person who's watching, you are an agent, you are an actor, and we need you in this movement of the diaspora. So I would say share your experience, document it. We have new forms of social and digital media. Mm -hmm. Talk to us, upload it, let the world and let Africa hear your stories, but also learn from the continent. I think there's a tendency to think because we're educated in the West, mm -hmm. we immediately add value. That's Absolutely. not always the case. We mm -hmm. need to go back and learn and be a partner to the continent and figure out what is my strategy strategic and important and relevant role in Africa. And you can only do that by studying, by taking time, by learning, and mm. by talking to one another. Excellent. So, I mean, you have amazing ideas. Thank you so much for coming to Africa Gathering, and thank you for sharing your ideas. And uh, for me, I'm just honored to have met you. And uh, thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you, so much. thank you for having me. Thank you so much. Thank you for Africa Gathering. Speak to you soon. Thank you. Thank you.